Yo, what up gamers? We are back. For another game of Jinx Diamond. No, I wanted to cancel this guy's recall. Okay, clearly they warded here. Yeah, so this game we're going to be playing Jinx Senna. Into Nyla Pike. I just realized we don't actually have any more wards on bottom. We use one ward here. Saw that invade coming. Place one ward here because I don't fucking know why I did that. <laughs> Wasn't worth it at all. But anyway, at least we're gonna have J4 playing towards us. And yeah, I think it's a good idea to start shoving. If we get an HP advantage, or sorry, a uh, minion advantage, then Pike won't be able to engage. And we pressure Nala under turret, she's not gonna be able to defend. Or else it very easily without avoiding poke. Where's Pike though? Pike seems to have missed XP. Nala will give him extra though, they'll probably still hit two at the same time anyway. As us. Well, not quite at the same time, I guess. Alright. Want to play more on the defensive side now that these minions are... Not big enough to defend us from a pike cook. And now we want to start looking, I think, probably to... Freeze. Since we're going to be easy to get engaged on now, and we've also got J4 on bot side anyway. We should be looking for a gank soon. <coughs> oh, he's just reverse clearing, I think. Or is he? Can't tell. I might just go mid. They haven't warded butt though, as far as I can tell, so... Nope. <sighs> Damn it. Well, she should be dead there, I hope. Oh, she's just hit level 3, Jesus. Get me out, get me out. I'm ghosting out. Leeson is definitely gonna cut me off, though. Ah, <sighs> Damn it, we could've done what they call a Nyla to extend my ghost duration. At least she dies eventually. Yeah, I'm very dead here. Okay, at least it just goes to Pike, not even to Nyla. This doesn't get anything, Lee doesn't get anything. Nice one. Unideal, though. How did she even hit level 3 there? Jesus. Okay, Nyla's XP, man. But I think she also engaged while she was level 2, which is what baited me there. Yeah, that was a really good engage from her. Engaged exactly as she was hitting level 3. Like, literally hit mid, like, level 3 mid-air. Mid, mid-dash. Nice. But unfortunately this wave state was a disaster for me, so... We're already a little bit behind in XP, just purely because, you know, that's what Nala does. She gets more XP than you. And now the wave state was an absolute disaster, so I'm still level 2 while she's hitting level 4. That is really not good. All I got was just a slight bit of gold advantage from that fight since Nala didn't get anything. But it was literally only 150 gold for me. She should still be somewhat close in gold, but she's also massively ahead in XP. I would trap her, except I know she's just going to be blocking all the autos with her pass, with her E anyway. Oh, but. Okay, nice. Not bad. Well, so much for playing bot side. That's what this G4 said he was going to be doing. Oh, what's going on there? Sana... Mm. I suppose she could be trying to move to Tranquil Fizz, but at the same time, that would leave me very vulnerable to an engage, and we don't know where the enemy bolt in are. And Pike is very good at forcing engages unexpectedly. Exactly. God, I can't move here. Yeah, even in our wave. I hate Nyla, man. She's such a stupid champion. She took zero damage there. 
This is an ideal to fall behind in a matchup like this. I was hoping the massive wave would protect us, but I, I guess like uh, I didn't think about the fact that the wave doesn't even matter if Nala can block. Because Nala literally blocks minion autos as well, not just champion autos, so it literally did not matter to her what our wave state was like. Either way, she wins. So I'm very limited on counterplay here, unfortunately. and got that. Okay. Man. Okay, we got Fizz at least. It's a shame about the Lisa now. I was Nala the whole time. I would not be shocked if Nala is about to hit level 6. Yep. I'm gonna back all the way off. God, the center does a lot of damage. Damn it. They might be on Drake. I think they are on Drake, so we'll shove this as fast as we can. Gives us a window at the base and get Berserkers, which will keep me a little bit safer. Make it easier to dodge Pike Cooks and Pike Keys. It's a shame I don't have ult or I would use it right now just to cancel the Nihilus base. Yeah, walking up to us as fast as I can, but definitely don't get there in time. Damn. We'll shove another fast wave as hard as we can. We got Jinx level wave clear, so... We'll be a fast crash. And then that gives us a window to play some vision, maybe clear some vision if they have a pink in here. They should have a pink in here. We've never had a chance to clear one. They don't, okay. I haven't been placing vision. <coughs> I don't have any wars to place anyway. Hmm. I'll pop ghost here. Oh, ho, ho, goes to Santa. Damn it. Oh well. Even if Pike showed up so at some point with a G4, that was too free. And honestly, she just took far too much damage there. The Senna W made it kind of unwinnable for her. If she didn't engage into us as well, she was basically going to walk into my traps. There was not much for her to do there. She just took a bad trade. She should not have been fighting or even like posturing aggressively at all without the Pike. Okay, here comes Fizz. Just gonna have to use E at some point. Now we throw the ultimate, do some guaranteed damage. Can't see Pike. And he's gone. Okay. Alright, I'd like to just 
leaving base now. I got a lot of gold all of a sudden. This was a good fight. Don't even care about missing out on this farm. I just need the base. I think we're going to have to go gold first this game, right? Yeah, we're facing Fizz. We're facing Nyla. Nyla in particular is really important to run gold first against, I think, because of how easily she can just one-shot you like him if she ults you. Saves you having to flash every time if she decides to flash on you. Trying to push these planings. Gotta be aware of the fact that Fizz just went missing on mid lane, but he wouldn't have had, had time to get bot yet. Okay, he's not coming bot. So we had time to get the plating, but either way, we're gonna have to back off because they get back into lane. But we'd have to back off even if they didn't get back into lane yet, because of the fact that we didn't know where Fizz was. If he hadn't shown up on mid lane again. Or Santa would have just recalled with me. What is your base for? Just two long swords. Ugh. So she for sure could have just based for one longsword before and not left me alone here where I could get dived. If I don't get dived though, then it's nice to have the solo XP. Do I have time to get the scrump? Probably not. That's fine. It's worth starting it though, just in case I don't even lose any HP if I just kite it properly. I'll clear this wave as fast as I can and then I'm gonna do ground for some free farm. Oop, or am I? Run to me. She couldn't have finished clearing the ward she was going for. <laughs> okay, they're definitely gonna try and. Careful! Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck's sake, I couldn't see him charging a suck. Really, Sana? <laughs> oh my lord. I need the base or they're gonna dive me, I think. They know I have no flush. An enemy has been slain. Yep. Pike is pushing for the dive while Nyla's pushing the wave. Is she flaming me because I pinged the ward for the five gold? I don't believe she's spamping me for that. Alright, I'm here. Mm, but we're not gonna do anything. Hello. Oh, fucking hell, the turret's gone. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sad, man. Nope. Click minions back, damn it. It's a rough game, man. <laughs> what else is there to say? We split gangplanks to him decent. We definitely don't have the kind of matchup we can win unless we get some jungle assistance. Or any kind of assistance. Especially if they're at least is gonna be diving us. Actually, there's no point pushing here, I don't think. We'll just slow push or freeze if we can. It's kind of hard, because some of these melees will probably go under turret for no reason. Okay, this one is hesitating. Can't decide whether it wants to run it down or not. But I'll just maintain this freeze for as long as I can, I think. Or actually, maybe we want to go for Drake. I'll just leave the wave. Ah, it crashed the wall. I was hoping that would ma uh, freeze would maintain itself, but it's definitely very important to get this. If nothing else, then to slow down their soul, and also because it's pretty good defensive Drake, it just means we're constantly at higher HP than we should be, so it's gonna be harder to get kills on us. It's a big deal for the entire team. I feel like I saw another ward there, but I'm not sure.
Actually, this is decent for me, good for me for Nala to come bot like this. So long as I don't get dived by like her and Pike and Fizz or something like that. That means she's wasting her time and not grouping with the team to actually make plays. Gotta be a little bit careful here though since we see Fizz bot side. Yeah, thankfully the Solution Drake is gonna help me recover from all that quite easily. Potentially it wasn't even worth it though because I couldn't risk dragging it out too far. And obviously you see some of these minions are just gonna deter it. Okay, this is the problem with me freezing here though is that it's very hard for me to survive Fizz even 1v1. Nice, okay, and that's why we need Gilfra so we can dodge that more easily as well. I just missed out on a ton of farm though because I couldn't risk walking up for it. Even without ult, I'm sure he dives me. This is why generally I don't recommend freezing as ADC and solo queue. It only works if the enemies are bad. So we're gonna either leave now or just farm one more with... No, okay, so Fizz is leaving, so we get some free farm here. They just need to be careful about Fizz. Nice one. I don't think Fizz being there matters, right? Unless... Oh, still an Isla there. Okay, that's not good. Forgot to check if I could ult anyone. That's not bad, though. So this was a pretty much even numbers fight. Like, everybody... Every, like, uh, it was a 3 for 3, right? So that was a decent fight for my team. Didn't go bad, which is what we need. And just to get, like, all three of them dead, or three of my team dead, their team needed to group as five, while my, th while my team only grouped as four, which means I just got, like, two to three waves, and I'm also going to get this objective bounty. Okay, so now it's four for four. Same thing. They have to get a numbers advantage just to trade evenly. Do I want to risk going for this? I think I do. Let's go. Okay. We'll leave now. Using Ghost just to make sure I can keep dealing damage to him before his W comes up. <coughs> it's a good thing he didn't have flash or, my, or all of that would have been a waste. Okay. Now we're going to go for... I think Infinity Edge is good here. We're not guaranteed to take damage so long as we play properly with the guild force and I think in a game like this where we're not exactly winning not ahead I need as much damage as I can have oh that's one dead Senna I'll respond to this way from Nyla Got her. Nice one, J4. He let me have the kill, I think. Well, whether intentionally or unintentionally, it's the same effect. <laughs> okay. Didn't see that coming. This could be good, really good, though. He's fucked. I don't quite have mana for ult, but that's fine. Is there anybody else coming? I don't think so. It'd be weird if literally all four of them minus Garen are here. What? Jesus. Nice one, holy shit. That was really good. They forced way too hard. Mainly the Nyla. The main mistake was Nyla. This didn't have ult, so... He also wasn't likely to be able to kill me. But it all started with Nyla just playing aggressively for no reason. When she was on my side of the map. Minimal backup available. Probably no vision. Knew I had Gale Force, or should have known that I had Gale Force. He's on enemy territory here. I would recommend him to run. Why did he go in? Shut down. Okay, we got the infinity edge. I'm huge now. Yeah, all good. <clears throat> At least he is open to admitting his mistakes. We just give the Drake. It's all good. <clears throat> Wait, the Herald can't move there? Huh. Jesus, that's fucked up. That interaction. Oh lord. Fucking hell. I 
Got him. W, my bad. Okay, awesome. I'm on the way. They might be trying to dive J4 here. Ooh, that W came up just in time. Or the silence let him cast it just in time. From one v one Okay, it looks like we're gonna probably have to go Lord Dominix as well here, I think. To deal damage to Garen. Although he's not really participating in fights so far, is he? But it's a big risk to just not build it, assuming that he will never join fights. <coughs> one. I wouldn't say we can do Baron though. Hello. What the fuck? Fuck, should have dodged that. Okay, nice. Yeah. I should have placed traps sooner, my bad. Okay, not even close. <laughs> yeah, the traps was what should have been good to place just in case the Fizz Q came up faster since I didn't know the cooldown. Should have placed them as soon as I could. Okay, now is the only person alive. I'm gonna throw an ultimate at her. Oh no, even with my ult. Oh well, at least they distracted her. She genuinely could have maybe just fucking 1v4 it here. Or 1v3 it at Drake, at Baron, brother. Nice one. Okay, I could just do with the golems and then I've got Lord Dominix. Okay, can we stop handing her free kills though? <laughs> Second time we're running soul dies very unnecessarily to her. And next item will be Bloodthirster, so we can have some survivability. Can't be the only one with anti-heal, just so you know. I feel like she's actually quite a decent option for being the only person with anti-heal. As long as she's applying anti-heal on Nyla, then what the hell else do we need anti-heal for? Is she saying, I'm gonna die, so I'm not gonna be around to use anti-heal? Is that what she's saying? Because I don't see any reason why she wouldn't be applying anti-heal on Nyla. Play some chops between me and him. Overall, though, it's just a good zoning tool. I can't defend the turret as long as his ult is up. There we go. Alright, she should be dead here. Ah, oh, fuck. All good. Okay, I did not need to ult. Fuck, he could have finished Pike. Oh well. I it was trying to peel me, but it... Oh god. But yeah. I could tell that it was unnecessary. I had Lee ha uh, handled so long as he didn't flash on me. And if he did flash on me, J4 wouldn't have helped. Yeah, okay, let's get this turret and then we should be able to get the uh, Drake as well. So remember, every close call that our team has had, where we come close to dying, but not quite, that's basically Ocean Drake is the only reason why we live there, right? The fact that we kept recovering HP. Okay, can blink most of that. I'll just base. I don't need gold for any component at the moment, anyway.
let him have that in case he needs it. Wait, it's still 700 gold away from what he wants. What the fuck? I'll throw my ultimate down here. I might be able to get him. Ooh, okay. He reacted in time. <clears throat> oh, we should be dealing with this. I only just noticed. Okay, our villain's all tipping is something, but... I can play a solo the hit. Am I still need more help? No, probably not. I don't want to risk it, though. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck's sake, they actually did decide to fight that side of the turret range. Can I really soul defend 1v2 then? I don't fucking know, man. Got him. Got him. And I got him. Perfect. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, hopefully we can just match in hip for in hip. That would be decent. Ah, uh, but they get to recall now, so we... Mm, nah, we surely rush this down. Not bad. Perfect. Any chance the red is up? I'd love to get a red buff. I'm sure either... Okay, nice. I was gonna say, I'm sure either one of red or blue is up, but I can't tell which, so I don't know which to pop to. Oh! Stana, why? I don't need help taking that. God. At least our bread is coming up. I'd be really pissed if it wasn't. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen by the enemies as soon as it spawns. Um, not worth selling my Doran's Blade yet. Uh, no, actually I can sell it for a quick cloak. I mean, I could. Yeah, it's gonna get stolen by the enemies, so. I get no red because of Senna. Sucks. Oh my lord. We should get mid prowl. Yeah, do we have anybody with TP? We don't. This is awkward. Okay, Lee Sin doesn't even go for me, which would actually win him the fight. I should have popped Ghost, actually. I'll pop Ghost now. There we go. There we go. Still got Ghost. We might just be able to win now. Fizz might have ult. Like, coming up at least. Hmm. Yeah, there it is. Should be fine. I got Bloodthirster for survivability. Perfect. Yeah, we just win. Oh, I'll flash that because I'm not sure if... Like, he probably would have Q, so he might just be able to one-shot me if I don't. I need to lifesteal fast here. Let me lifesteal! Oh, I, I really got to hit anything. Fuck, what a focus here, I guess this. Damn it. I need to get out. That's awkward. I was focusing one turret and the super minion and the Rolling Soul were focusing the other, so I ended up getting nothing. At least we can get this Drake. <laughs> Alright, I think my ZL upgrade will be Renance. Oh, no, oh, no. Okay, we just do a Baron now. Baron should be free. That was fucking annoying. He literally just smited mid-jump from the, from the Blast Gun. Okay, we got one turret. Awesome. 
My damage on the left side turret didn't go to waste. Still would have been better if we just focused the same turret though, because in that case those minions probably would have taken both turrets. <laughs> what? Okay. Where do we want to go here? Uh, we can just push top, I guess. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect a comeback like this. I died like- did I die a single time after laning phase? I know I had two or three deaths in laning phase. Can't remember which. Alright, awesome. GG. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Jinx. This time we're playing Jinx Zyra. With the fellow's hammer dinger. See if we can get a fellow's to try and punish Zyra here. Neither of them have any gold yet. I guess I'm just turrets don't apply the gold from the support item. You think I'm crazy? You should see my sister. This is a little bit risky, but I doubt they're setting in here. Probably just leashing. There's not much to do here except I guess throw one auto. Well, actually, okay, he's pathing alone. Okay, he still got heal. We don't want to greed there for another auto. Okay, awesome. We get every single lost hit there. Well, it's got some XP from the melees, but missed at least one minute worth of XP. And only got one lost hit as well. Okay, so we pretty much know that Dana's gonna be buffing top side, so we're pretty safe for now. We might get ganked by Dana, like after three camps. I think it might already be too late for that, but if, if it isn't, we might get ganked now, but I should be able to live since their ball in doesn't have too much follow up. And I've got Ghost. How about I was looking at the map? Okay, I've got only half mana, so I'm just gonna put an extra point in Q rather than leveling E here. Go play some vision just in case. I'm sure there's no way Dana's butt side currently though. I guess that could change though. I mean, she would have finished her full clear by now. She can go wherever she wants. Could be seeing a gank from her within the next minute. Okay, that's a... Ooh, no, okay, the route didn't last long enough for me to land W. Still an okay trade, though, with the damage Zara dealt. Okay, so we gotta watch out for the Ophelos quick root combo there. Or easy root at least. 
help. Okay, Diana's bot side. Need to back off. We may just want to recall here as well. This wave is fucked anyway, and the wave will reset at this point anyway. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do coal and double logs right here. I could do berserkers, but... Eh, I mean, it would be okay in this matchup, but it mainly comes into effect later on. Until then... It would basically just be safety and I'll go ghost for that. Oh, it's a shame they managed to crash this wave so fast though. Just gonna undo some of my CS lead. Okay, not much of it, though. I don't want to use rockets on that, because then it's going to unset up these minions. Okay, so what we're going to do here is crash this as fast as we can. This gives us a window to go play some vision. Or even go for plating? Ooh, that plating is mighty tempting. God damn it. Okay, I actually got a soul playing there. Oh god, I'm in trouble here. We got a ghost. And I'm still dead. Damn it. Okay, my bad. That's rough. Ooh. Oh no, rooted. <laughs> god damn. Okay, um. We'll go for an Uncle roll. Just wait for it. There we go. Okay, Phallus is low for now. He's surely gonna crash this wave fast enough, though. But he can't get here in time to punish him. Zara can freeze this wave, though. She should have waited to actually place a plant, though. Until uh, Phyllis is actually gone. She could also place this plant here to tank this wave. Uh, it's fine, she's just losing her own HP. Doesn't affect me. Hmm. <laughs> just gonna crash this wave. We never got a chance to place vision before. We would also have a bigger window to hit the turret now if we wanted to. I think. Oh. Nah, I don't want to push this turret by myself with server recalling. Exactly. Is she level 6? She's fucking level 6! Okay, I'm fine. Her ultimate damage didn't hit me. I'll survive. Jesus. Okay. I have to stay for now. I'm just gonna be playing on the back foot unnecessarily for a while, sadly. And they get a drink out of that. The more I hit these minions, by the way, the more I'm going to be healing from Thorns Blade, Bloodline, and Cole. So I'm relatively confident Diana's not going to go for another gank. So I don't mind pushing to get some healing. What? Well, that's upsetting. <laughs> It was always the risk Dana was going to be there when I placed the ward, but that would have meant that she would have basically had to have been camping there for like 40 seconds. Which I felt was unlikely. Ooh, damn. Ah, shit, I didn't notice the white here. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Is, she, is he going to die to plants? Ooh, that was fucking close. Oh, okay, he's dead in the end. Awesome. I don't know whether I placed my traps too late or... No, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know whether I placed the traps too late. Or whether... I just misplaced them, but... If Rafalos had gotten rooted by my either, then it would have it would have just been like a one-shot combo. Alright, I need the base now. I'll get Berserkers. Don't touch the wave, don't touch the wave. Thank you. 
I got one potion. Yeah, that fucking white thread almost got me killed because I noticed it. I can't remember the last time I played against the fellas now that I think about it. Can't power through those traps, so now he's fucked. And the kill goes to me, awesome. First kill of the game. Making up the kill that I didn't get earlier when he flashed. I want to get this plating. Why is he also on his way? Okay. Should I be helping there? Nah. I think he just boss coned out. I'd like to shove one more wave here just because I can. Hopefully I'm not getting ganked for by Diana. Okay, we good. One of those casters. Is this a cannon wave? Yeah, so I should have time to base here then. Without missing farm. Come on, don't cancel my base, don't cancel my base! Well, I guess I'm staying then. What? Ooh, okay. Ah, both the Zara though, that sucks. Oh well. Shame about a fellow blocking the ultimate for hammer. Ooh, we're in trouble here. I still got ghost. Okay, good riddance, Zara. Next time they'll steal my double kill and karma won't come to get you. Bitch. I gotta leave. <laughs> I will get dived so easily by Diana if I try and defend. Doesn't matter that she has Herald, I just can't do anything about it, so we leave. Hmm. Bit unfortunate that I have cool, so I can't get my Mythic. It is what it is. Can't predict this stuff. With any luck, maybe our Mythic wouldn't have done anything anyway. Yeah, best he leave there. Uh, I'd like to have the farm though. Yeah, you couldn't really fight Diana there, just purely because of the fact that uh, the bot lane would be coming faster than I was. Except for the fact that the fellow seems to be mid instead. How curious. An enemy has been slain. Shit. Can I keep pushing here? I think I can. Only person that could be coming is Heimer at the moment. We'll throw an ultimate here. Very likely to hit either one of them or both of them. Ooh, and I even killed Heimer. I didn't think it would. Nice one. I mean, oh my god, this is devastating. I actually get the full turret. Is it first turret? It is. So much gold there. I would say it's a shame about the platings falling, but if they didn't, I might not have got the turret. Nice one. I'll look the base now. Actually, Dana... Yeah, actually, there's no chance Dana would come for me anyway, because she was also low, wasn't she? So, actually, I guess I would have had the turret no matter what. Okay, again, I'm going to have to go girl force this game, I think, purely because I wanted to escape the Dana ult. Um, I haven't thought about whether I want Bless or Infinity Edge, but either one. We'll pull out of BF Sword. And... 
yeah, I mean, I guess Bloodthirster looks pretty solid this game. Especially if this Renekton goes Lethality, which you could still do after the Bork. Yeah, that is a weird Hecarim build. The team has one AP besides Heimer. And he's rushing a Hexbreaker just because he maybe died to Diana once. I was going to say once or twice, but no, it's literally once. She has one kill. And no, that's it. That's he li She literally hasn't killed him once. She only has a kill from Zyra. Right? So why the fuck does... Hecarim have a Hexbreaker rush? Maybe we can just chase this, by the way. Yeah, Dana has no idea. Hopefully they don't randomly ward now, that would be awkward. There's... what? So much for them not having vision. I forgot I'd kill for us, doesn't matter. How the... Oh, this, yeah, he also has a kill for us. Oh my lord. <laughs> nice one. What the fuck? I mean, so I was confident that she didn't have vision because once we started it, she walked all the way to mid lane and then turned around. Like, she didn't immediately notice us doing Drake. As far as I could tell. Unless she's just a mastermind of pretending, in which case, give her an Oscar. Anyway, it's not too bad. At least we got a kill for that. It's a shame, though, that they get... That was their second Drake. Uh, no, that's not what I want. There we go. Start is falling no matter what. Oop, okay. Yeah, I prefer that to go bot. Perfect. <laughs> Small tip, guys. For Make sure you have the uh, enemy... Enemy have vision here, ping, bound to somewhere convenient. I have it bound to V, personally. And the difference between that ping and other pings is that it's completely instant. So, you, like, that Zed probably would have pinged that ward faster than me, except he had to do two clicks for his ping, and I only had to do one. Also, he's dead. <laughs> what? He's li he was literally, like, stomping. I was just randomly eating. Now we just randomly give over a big shot down to Yasuo. That's not good. Um, I'll shovel wave, then try and help there, I guess. Or just go for the turret. Seems like the fight might, might already be over. Yeah, I mean, I can't do anything about that. That's purely on Zed. He was the one person who needed to defend. Okay, nice one. I still think the right call is for me to stay here, because I have no guarantee. I will join now, though, because I'm not going to be able to get the second turret. Or it's not guaranteed, at least. Oh, no. That hit. That would have been an easy kill on Diana now with kill force. Okay, that should be a Colonna Fellows. Perfect. Should have maybe popped Ghost. That's nah, all good. Yeah, we don't need Ghost. I got the best of both worlds there. I stuck around for the Drake, for the, sorry, for the turret, for the guaranteed turret gold, for the guaranteed objective. Then went to join the fight instead of joining the fight immediately, and we still won the fight. You should not expect that to happen every time. Usually it's a trace like, do I want to influence this fight? Which might we might lose anyway, even with me helping. Or do I want to get the turret, which is guaranteed? You know, you gotta make that trace, and it's based off of like looking at the fight, you gotta consider. How fast do I get to that fight? Like am I how am I am I gonna get there in time to influence it or not? And if I do get there in time, is it gonna be in time to actually win it? Is it even winnable if I, if I was there from the start? So usually you would want to go for the objective. Because it's guaranteed, right? If nobody's gonna come and stop you. But in that, in this occasion, it just so happened to be that I could get the objective and actually still win the fight. And I don't know if we even had any deaths, so that was just absurdly good for no reason. I'm gonna steal this uh, this uh, jungle camp. There we go. <laughs> I wish I could have got all of the small ones as well, but he killed them. What's going on there? Ooh, wait, he actually died. <laughs> Let's go, my ultimate did something. Besides steal a camp. Kira probably should have popped Ghost. 
I won't bother now, though. It's not too important whether I kill Hammer or not. But yeah, for sure if I had Ghost, I would have killed him there. It's just not worth popping. But it's good to pop Ghost in teamfights when you know you're about to get a reset on it anyway. So it's gonna have a really good duration. It's just Hammer and Aphelios, and Aphelios only just started basing. There we go. This red of is up, then I'm gonna be a very happy man. Oh, I am a very happy man. <laughs> nice fry hammer. I need Hackerman Drake anyway, so I won't start it yet. I'll just go for this farm. Bad traps, I should have done it sooner. I could have trapped them between them. I swear to god, if they have another fucking blast cone. Oh. Well, that's fucking Alfred. Okay, we got it. We can maybe do Baron now as well. We should do Baron. Don't even bother with the inhib. Inhib will be super easy to take once we get Baron. Whereas Baron won't be super easy to take once we get Inhib. No, do Baron! Okay, this is fine. So long as we have at least Hecarim with us, we should be able to do it. Man. What is Zara doing, man? The red buff is about to run out. It's a shame I can't immediately upgrade this to Zeal, but I don't think it's worth waiting for it. Actually, eh, fuck it, I'll do it. I don't think we need Lord Dominic's this game. At least not so early on. In fact, I think our fine, best final item here is going to be GA. I think full tankiness will be really good here, given how much physical damage thrust they have, and basically triple assassin comp, I guess, in a way. Definitely triple diver comp. And yeah, this Renekton now has Prowler's Claw, so he's going to be pretty bursty. I'm just gonna push this in, Hub. Okay, I guess we'll go top now. No bot, I mean. No way. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Let's play some traps behind her. Boom. Easy kill. Would have been easier if I just threw the W at her so she's slower, but... Your passive is also a good way to just get some movement speed. And actually get in position to place traps behind someone. Oh, gotta clear this. Hard to click it, though. Placing trust between me and Renekton doesn't matter. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> Bit overkill. Alright, let's end. I 
so I could let her just burst me. Come on, do it, do it. I'm too tanky for her to kill anyway. Just so long as I don't get hit by the fountain laser. <laughs> nice one, nice one. GG. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. And this time we're playing Jinx Melio into Kaisa Thresh. Should be an okay matchup, I think. Hopefully they're leashing as well, so we don't have to play 2v3. Oh, hello. They're not leashing. Should be okay, actually. Pop goes to keep on pushing here. What? Why would he flash in? What the fuck? I was getting ready to flash after him when he flashes away. And he just flashed in? What the fuck? I could have killed Kais as well. Oh well. Next time we'll just wait for the flash instead of just assuming they're gonna do the fucking only sensible thing. <laughs> okay. Alright, we can just crash this wave and go ahead and base for a call, I guess. Alright, I'm out of here. Or am I? Ooh, I'm actually in trouble here. God, they have a fucking Wukong gank. Of course they do. Okay, I died with Rush at least. Hopefully Emilio gets out of here. My bad. I forgot. Yeah, they didn't leash, so I really needed to, to base there. It's fairly obvious Wukong would be ganking soon. I even- oh, I could even see him. I just hadn't paid attention. But even 2v2, that wasn't actually that good. I got burst way too fucking hard there. Needed to focus on dodging the Thresh hook. Wasn't as uh, one-sided as I thought it would be. Oh god. At least Kassa didn't get the kill though, so it's not a huge deal. I'll just slow push these waves for now. Getting ready to stand in front of the cannon in case I need to block a Kaisa W. There we go. No cannon for her. Now it's just a matter of can I get this cannon for myself? Boom, easy. The goat. An enemy has been slain. You can't tell on us when we have a wave this big, so we're just gonna ride this out all the way until this is the very next wave, which is gonna give us enough gold for a double longsword. Are they in this brush? Oh, okay. I thought I saw somebody move there. Oh, come on. No reason for the minus to focus those casters, that's so annoying. Oh well. I still have the gold that I need anyway. I'm not cancelling my base. Double longsword is a big base. Wait, does that Hecarim of Dark Harvest? Oh my lord, he does. That's an odd choice. Maybe it's alright if he goes lethality though. Actually, I think that was the time when I used to run Dark Harvest on Hecarim, but that was fucking years ago now.
Like, I want to say four or five years ago. <clears throat> probably could have placed some traps behind her, actually. That would have probably led to a kill opportunity. We're not gonna freeze here, but we can just make sure that the wave state is like as far on our side of the map as possible. Oh. Makes it easier to slow push and also makes it easier to pressure Kaisa if she wants to walk up the lost head. Oh, why is she going mid? Okay. I guess we'll get some free farm there. I'll just start crashing now. I don't want to hand over. Uh, I don't want to like slow push here and stack up like three waves just for Kaisa to get bought and get three free waves. We want to crash this next wave as fast as possible. So the Kaisa misses as much as possible if she were to rotate back to bot lane. Got him. Nice one. Melee didn't get a little bit of damage off at the end. My ultimate would not have killed Thresh. Hmm, I can probably shove one more wave and then base actually. We don't need to hurry. We're in, or rather, we're in no rush to base. Yeah, I suppose it's worth going for the turret. Or, sorry, for the Drake. Nice one. Huge. Next wave is a cannon wave, so I probably just want to base here no matter what. God damn it. They <laughs> it's like they stole a vision. His rockets weren't even reaching me, but he still knew that I was there. But we cleared the ward, didn't we? I'll just go for the full AD approach since I don't have enough for Berserkers. I might want to use ultimate here. Yeah, I'm going to use ult here. Should be able to get the cannon if it hits Thresh or Corky. There we go. And we got a bunch of costers too. That's well worth it. The costers we'd have eventually ended up getting anyway, so it's not too important. But I lost like one melee for getting the cannon. I'll take that trade any day. Anyway, I guess Cast is just trolling. Seems to be refusing to give up mid lane now. I need to have more vision before I play aggressively, though. I don't know where Wukong is, even though we see Rush moving. One word there and one word here. That should be good enough. What is... He got a minion protecting him from my W, but I don't get minions protecting me from his W. That's so unfair. Alright, he's dead here. Um... Ah, I should've flashed. I really should've flashed. My bad. That was unexpected. They were... They trolled and gave up Bolin, but then they just randomly returned. I guess that's why Corky randomly engaged. He did it too early, though. I 100% should've lived there. I just misplayed it. Alright, we'll solve this for Berserkers now. At least I didn't hit, uh, hand over a shutdown, that was just the regular 300 gold. 
And now she's mid again, like what the fuck? If you're gonna troll, at least be consistent, man. Please, don't gank me while you're trolling. Alright, we need to pressure this bot lane threat while everybody on their team is mid. Hopefully my team just didn't just get randomly engaged done. Oh, they're kinda dead. I should maybe throw an ultimate towards mid lane. Eh, no, nothing to do with it right now. Anyway, this is gonna be a lot of free platings for me. And <laughs> probably a free turret. Like, that is just not worth it for that team. Even if they were want to fight, I just get so much gold for free here with no risk whatsoever. Instead, they still lose a mid lane turret, and they also lose the bolt lane turret, and I think they traded, like, 1 for 1 or 2 for 2 or something like that. Good rotation from Cassiopeia, because now I... Want to group mid, where I can impact the map the most. Well, I'll be recalling again soon anyway. Oh my lord, does Trinomir get a turret there? Hopefully. I'm not in a position to use traps on her. Um, I might as well cash on my coal before I base, I guess. Next wave is coming in fast anyway. They might be kinking Cassiopeia, in which case I need to keep on pressuring. Okay, Kai's is top. We see Wukong behind us. But Hakrim is dealing with him, so we know we're not getting kinked by him. I should be able to get the start for free. Then maybe kill Fresh off there too. He's gonna get blocked off here by the traps, he has nowhere to run. <laughs> nice try, I still have vision for my W. Even if we didn't have ward there. He had no chance of surviving that way. Um, ooh, nice one. I was getting ready to ult. We'll just keep on pressuring as long as they can't respond. Oh, God damn it. Oh, this minion block now as well. Oh well. Alright, let's base. Or, yeah, let's get the Drake first. True. Wait, my smite? I don't think that's necessary. That's a level of tryhard we do not need to execute in a game. Where we're this ahead, and the enemies have no position to contest the Drake. In fact, it's not even tryhard, it's just completely unnecessary. Overly safe. Detrimentally safe. There's no need to wait before getting a free objective. Okay, so I don't necessarily need to go Kraken Slayer in a game like this, but at the same time, it's like the first game today I've had where I don't need Guild Force because for once they don't have Nyla or the Anolts, which are both hard countered by Guild Force. The highest need for Guild Force I could have this game, I think, is Guild Force to get out of the Corky package, Guild Force to get out of. I guess, like, range of Wukong ultimate, but it's not quite the same as Nyla and Dan Ults. So we'll just go for the Kraken Slayer for damage since I'm really ahead, and we'll see how that goes. Nearly got him. There we go. Oh my god, this minion block. I should have been able to land W on him as well. Ooh, almost got hit there. Throw the ultimate for AoE here. Oh, I just went right between everyone. I 
And I'm out of mana for rockets. I think we may as well go Bloodthirster though. Instead of Infinity Edge. Uh, no Valkyrie basing now though, but there's not much for me to stick around for. No camps to farm while I wait for the next wave or anything. So we'll just base already. <clears throat> Press all ward on the map. Damn it, I guess not. Okay. Have we got the inhib now? I think some people would say it's too early to get an inhib, but. I think it's fine. We'll just pressure the rest of the map now. It should be super easy to get turrets. I don't care about the lost breath there. Snapey Corky, I gotta watch out for the poke. And that's gonna make Bloodthirster very good against Corky. Didn't think about Wukong, my bad. Fuck, what's my W cooldown? I didn't wanna check! Fuck! She had a Kraken Star proc. I wasn't looking at my W cooldown, I was just spamming it, thinking it's surely up now, it's surely up now, it's surely up now, and it was never up. It was never up now. <laughs> My bad. Oh well. Are you telling me this inhib was a mistake? Hmm, she might not get that one though. It's like the worst person on our team to survive. <laughs> Cause she cannot get any more objectives. I wanna get the red. Should also be able to get the Baron thanks to that free 20 minute inhib. Not that we're even making use of it if we don't wait for it to push, but... There we go. Now we should, should go top. For my ultimate here? Oh, he's gonna stop going in any, anyway. Fine here. Nobody can follow this up. 
Holy fuck, this Wukong is alive for a while. Stand. GG. Yo, the gamers, we are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. And we're playing Jinx Lulu. Into Zaya Melio. Nocturne, do you wanna be here, buddy? There we go. Gank bot, Jinx carry, this guy is the right idea, but it's too late. Nocton is already pathing top. Ow. Okay. Oh no, my lethal tempo just ran out. I've still got uh, some stacks though. This is literally what I'm ghosting for. It's literally just to keep harassing with the lethal tempo. I should have done it sooner though. If, I, if I'd managed to do it before I ran out, it would have landed like maybe two more autos, which would have been a lot better. In fact, it wouldn't have even been worth it at all. If not, like, um, because I did so little damage to Zaya, except that after I, after Zaya got out of my range, suddenly Melia stepped into my range, and so I did a ton of damage to him that actually, I would say, made the cost worth it. Maybe not the best possible cost that I could have ever had, but definitely one worthwhile of the cooldown, I would say. So let's, in the meantime, let's just hope that I don't have a better cost for Ghost pop up. And then it will have been completely worth it. Even in hindsight. Nice one. Okay, let's go play some vision. They didn't leash, remember, so we should expect the Hecarim gank fairly soon. Oh, uh, yeah, here he is. Wanted to go play some vision in the river. That's actually a good time for Lulu to roam up into the river. There's about to be a 2v2 put top or uh, mid lane. But it looks like there won't be. Uh, I sh also shouldn't have level traps here, by the way. I've not got enough mana to be using them. May as well have just had another point in Q so I could have more range. A little bit more attack speed. Okay, looks like we're getting a gank soon. But I can't really be in position here. Okay. Nice one. Sadly, I don't get an assist, but I'll take it. I would have had to thank so much mini Negro just to follow up, and then they could have potentially killed me if they turned. Alright, nice one. Since we're facing Zaya, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna base and I'm gonna get Berserkers. Berserkers will make it easier to abuse my range advantage. And he has vision here, doesn't he? That's sad. Is he gonna try and cancel my base again? I hope not. I think he, Yeah, he will. He knows that I'm recalling in this brush because he has a ward here, actually. I have to back all the way off. This is kind of annoying. It is what it is. Lulu shouldn't be recalling before me for that reason, just in case something like that happens. Now I lose a lot of time on my base. Dulu wants to recall at the same time as me, or slightly after me. So that she can actually defend my recall. Like, she doesn't care if her recall gets delayed, which is why it's silly if she's just recalling before me. 
Even knowing that mine might get the lead. At least I don't lose too much for it though, since they're not going to be crashing. They're just going to be slow pushing. I'll miss like maybe one or two CS more, I think. I don't really know where Milio is. I assume he's based. Ooh, if that's loader. Ah, damn it. Oh well. Just gonna focus on thinning out this wave. I'm gonna have too little mana to actually fight with. Oh, they have so much more XP than me, Jesus. Than both of us. Little shield. There we go. Actually, with Nocturne where he is, I probably should have just slow pushed. Or frozen, rather. At least I got a CS lead, lead even if not an XP lead. Okay, since Nocturne wants to do Drake, we'll start shoving so we can be in position to help if necessary. If their jungler suddenly decides to contest. So the jungler again? Hecrum. There we go. Let's also go play some vision. Clear their pink if they have one. They do. They might not have any vision there. We'll see. I'm thinking going for the solo gank on Kaisa. What? In what world was he gonna kill her there? That's so greedy. And selfish. And stupid. All three. So I should try and be bait for Hecarim. Oh. Pop ghost. Okay, cool. We got a call. No, oh, leave the wave, leave the wave. I already missed out on the cannon. Please tell me at least some of that wave remains for me. Nope, she wanted to finish it all. Awesome. Okay, maybe one or two platings. If I don't get taxed by Katarina. Nice, only by Lulu. Nice one. What the fuck is going on here? Cool. Let's get out of here. Um, ooh, you know what? I'm gonna try out the fucking nearly 10 minute coal because I got nothing better to buy. <coughs> I feel like this is gonna be really greedy, but we'll see. Would have just got the crick look if I could sell my potion for it, but I couldn't. I don't think everyone's gonna get off another gank here. Should play us at least one ward here. Lulu.
And now we want to place and remove vision. If there's a scuttle crab here, it would be really nice to take that as well. Yeah, nice. So it's going to be a lot of gold for me, and it's also going to be free vision. Ooh, Hacker, I'm going for, I assume, Katarina. I'm not going to try and help her there, because it's probably going to be a waste of time. I might throw ult, though. Ooh, wow. Oh my lord, not even close. Nice one. Okay, we'll path around. Good shit. Awesome. We did double six. It should have been worth it to use it to... Oh, Katarina there, I think. Not Katarina, sorry. Uh, Kaisa. Nice. We just immediately clear the coster so we have a minion advantage and it makes it impossible for Kaisa to wall in here. I also take less minion aggro if I decide to poke her. So you have that range advantage. It's very hard for Kaisa or Zaya to do anything in this matchup later on. Once you have quite a few points in Q. I don't want to go too aggressive though. Well, this won't be too. Sit down with me. Alright. Dust it off. I keep pushing as hard as I can. I want to get solo XP here as long as I can. I need to help here as well. Oh boy. Okay, that's the top laner moving up for this fight. Ideally, we just wait for him to leave and then we can maybe do Drake after. Ooh. Oh, hello. She's gonna flash through. Okay, I got an assist with my ultimate. Oh, Jax actually turned around. He was headed towards top again. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I didn't see the cannons HP to use W or not. Eventually, she's gonna have to get rooted. Either that or she just ends up taking a bunch of autos there. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to ghost for this. Should be fine, I hope. Yeah, shield didn't come up in time, but thankfully I survived it. I wish Lulu had just taken aggro though, because I couldn't commit. Ooh. I think I keep fucking bouncing in and out of the turret range when we should have been able to punish Zaya harder for the fact that she was refusing to leave there. Uh, we can go Kraken Slayer this game, I think. Gold Force would be decent for Hecarim, but I think if we just build Bloodthirster and are too tanky to die to him, that should be good enough. Also have Ghost for better positioning. But the comp could get pretty tanky. So. Okay, they have no vision here. We can camp here and wait for them to try and place vision. No, don't walk off. They have to place vision eventually. Traps behind them, and he's dead. Perfect. Got her. Holy crap, a lot of damage onto her. Rush is actually gonna base. Well, I'm in no hurry to take this turret, am I? It's gonna be first turret no matter what. I suppose I should take it on this wave though, just in case, because I can't predict what might happen after this wave. Somebody might come and defend it, and then I don't have the opportunity anymore. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'll do Bloodthirster for now. I think Bloodthirster is good. Okay, so far this call actually seems like it was pretty good. Because I should get it. I should cash it out in time to get my Bloodthirster anyway. I rarely buy coal after five minutes, but it seems like it's worked out this time at least. The important thing is, that the key thing is though, that I didn't go out of my way to buy it. I just had a base where there was like literally nothing else I could buy. It was either that or Longsword. Minions are gone, I didn't notice. Oh, this is trouble, oh ghost. He's dead. Come on. There we go. That's our my fight. <laughs> My lord, this is going to be a very early in hub, isn't it? Nice one. See if that goes Milio. Ah, no, I did it too late. But then it before he stepped on the fountain. Probably would have been good. Oh, my lord. That's one dead hacker. Are we just going to end here? No fucking way, right? No way. Holy shit, we are actually ending. That's unreal. Oh, I didn't get the cash on my coal. What a stupid fucking item. We could have lost this game because of coal. Never buy it. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. This time, we're going to be playing Jinx Lulu into Ziri Nautilus. Thankfully, we skipped uh, Plat Promo, so we just skipped directly to Plat 4. Already making solid progress. Should be able to hopefully finish this Jinx the Diamond series fairly soon. Not that I want to stop playing her, but just excited to move on to other picks as well. I've already got Kaisa out of the way. Would have been nice to finish off Jinx as well. That would be 2 out of, I don't know, 19. I don't know how many ADCs we're doing. Ooh, that went right between both of them. Okay, we'll back off now. I'm gonna place a ward about here, I guess. So we can have some defense against Nuna if he decides to cheese us. Yeah, she just stole my overheal. There's no no. <laughs> what? Okay, well, Nautilus no flash. <sighs> but I think he does have Hex of Flash. That's why we're gonna be wary anytime he's in a brush without a vision. Okay, I've got enough mana that I can level E. It looks like we want to trample up here. Well, she slowed by the... Zeri Q, or Lulu Q, that's when we want to throw... 
W at her. Pop ghosts should be able to get her. In fact, this could be very good. Where's the other guy? Oh, there's Nuno. Place just behind him, and he's fucked. Perfect. Yeah, so Zeri, honestly, flashing through there was actually pretty good for me because I know that there's somebody else that I could chase down. I just didn't know where they were, but... If I flash through the wall for Zeri, then I know I can also get them as well. Whereas, just to get them, I couldn't do it, be or I wouldn't want to do it because I wouldn't have my passive speed up to catch them. <coughs> so Zeri flashing over the wall, not just only let me kill her, but also get... No, no. Just want to make sure I get that cannon. And we should be able to crash this wave pretty fast. I mean, it's just split apart for no reason, though. Ah, and I just missed out on so much from Lolo as well. Fuck, I think Nuna's on the way. There's no other reason for Nautilus to try this. But he also could just be freezing, I don't know. It looks like he's just freezing. Anyway, Lolo was... It's like in the previous game. Our previous Lolo also was really selfish and just... based before us. Didn't make sure there was no freeze for the enemies. Oh, well. We just gotta deal with that. Um... Ah. Would be greedy to get coal instead of Noon Cover. Not just, I'm not even just greedy, just... Coal addicted. It would be coal addicted. Coal addictive. I don't know where Nautilus is. Okay, I see him there. I have a lot of time to rotate here, though. I think I may as well. We should be able to get Nautilus here. I'll cut him off. Perfect. He's dead. Ah, but it doesn't go to me again. Oh, well. But, yep, we have plenty of time to get the ball in here. So, because this wave is pushing towards me, it means that uh, Zeri would miss out a lot for moving. Meanwhile, for me, uh, she's actually so far away from my turret that even though it's pushing towards me, I know it's I've got plenty of time before it actually crashes. So I'm not going to get punished for rotating there unless I somehow manage to die. The only thing we had to do was play safe enough that we couldn't die, but there was like not even a chance for us to die. Ah, damn. Okay, if I recall quickly, I'll still have time to get my call. No, I'm kidding. I probably won't get it this game. Probably. Why? I'm still scared of Nunu. Nunu's like a omnipresent threat. Could be anywhere, anytime. Yeah, even this was a small risk. Looks like it paid off though. God damn it, they have, they have another pink. Okay. Just run punish Nautilus here, I guess. Still in a world. No, no, wait, is he top? No. I think Nautilus is getting into position to defend this pink there. <laughs> he must see me moving there on a ward or something. So we gotta chill just until we know where Nunu is. Lulu is very killable right now. It would be a very good time for Nunu to gank. <laughs> Stop getting hit by everyone. At least you blocked this one. Okay, at least the wave status is a much better or a much safer spot now. Oh, for 
fuck's sake. Ah, damn it. She took so long to die that I couldn't ghost out. That sucks. Ghost out and uh, passive out as well. Maybe I should have just flashed the no-no. W. Oh, well. Dude, even a turret, we're not safe. Anyway, I guess I am getting the call, just like in the previous game. Near 10 minute call, except this one is even slightly sooner. 9 minutes instead of 10, or 9.40, it was in the previous game, I think. Surely no way Nunu just rushes the ganks again, right? Oh my god. There's no point flashing this time for sure. This guy just doesn't farm camps like this. At least there's no Drake for them to pick up. That is ridiculous. I, I was not expecting him to still be bot side. At least Zeri should die here as well. That was a close one. Ooh, this this cannon is getting dropped. No, 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 leave it. No, no, no. He saved the cannon and then he killed it. Oh. Oh, well. Let me get the solo plating, please. Yes, okay. Can I get another solo plating? Is there anything to do here? Maybe. I'll throw an ultimate here. There we go, solo plating. I just got basically a kill's worth of gold from that. Nice, that was even a bit delayed. Oh, shouldn't have tanked this throw shot. Oh well, we got sustain. I suppose my ultimate didn't hit anyone. I wasn't paying attention. That's CK in left though. We don't need to dive. Hmm. Oh, well, I mean, this dive is fine. It's purely because she's left the turret. Okay. Okay, nice. We're getting the turret. It's about another kill worth of gold to me, almost. I'm gonna crash this way before anything else. I got ghost if I need to run from Nuno. Okay. Yeah, actually, maybe I should have just flashed there. I could have actually escaped. My bad. I thought I was doomed the moment I got hit by Nuna Snowball. How many times is Nautilus gonna flash Q, man? This is... Like, I swear, like, the average amount of times for Nautilus to do that in linear phase would be, like... Maybe once, maybe twice, if they're playing aggressively. This Nautilus, I feel like, has done it fucking... Four times already. And not every time was good, that's why he averages so many. Okay, I'm gonna throw my ultimate here. Oh no. Okay, it did damage. Oof. I'm on the way. I'm gonna pop go so I can get here faster. Damn. Okay, not bad. I could base from a mythic. Let's 
Ooh, nice one. Damn, so much damage. From the turret. It's fun, we're here to cover him. Wow, how did that hit me? Alright, trust behind them. Wait, I'm taking turret shots, holy shit! Holy fuck, I took so much damage there, I could've go for a stout. It's fucking Bramble Vest. Alright, he's dead. Ow. Ow. Okay, we got a notion, so at least we're healing a little bit. I think this should also be a Bloodthirst a second game. Ooh, I should go bot here. Big wave that I don't want to miss out on. Solid Smith, Solid Smith. Because the thing is, I'm going to get bot so much faster than he is, so it should be me that goes bot. Even if in general you'd rather your ADC be mid and mid lane or side lane. There's just not time for that right now. Time for Solid to actually get this. I'm playing with fire, pushing another wave here, but I think they're going to be distracted with mid lane to expect me to go for another wave on bot lane. Nuno might go for me though. If he does, I'll probably just die. I don't have to go for us. Okay, that's still not much better. Okay, now Sal should go bot. Actually, I mean, he's 10 on 1. He's going to be huge in fights if he participates. But I guess he also has a decent chance of just 1v1 and Yone for that reason. Fuck me, dude. I was on my way to Raptors. There's no way he predicted that I was on my way to Raptors. He's dead, I think. Yep, perfect. Nice one. Good shit. Get him. There's no way. No way. Look at the slower fuck. God, that sucks, man. If I just killed him with my passive, I would have been out there. Or I, if I'd killed him, I would have been out of there with my passive, I mean. Oh, well. Ah, oh, this is better. Should be able to get this Drake. I just want to shove one mid wave before I rotate for it. We don't want to touch these wards. If we touch these wards, they get vision. <laughs> exactly, Lulu. Exactly. Well, we not want to do. Because they're already having the vision denied by the pink. So what happens when you auto-attack the wards is that they get vision of you because you're auto-attacking one of their allies, right? The wards count as allies. So they get vision of you when they otherwise didn't have any vision at all in the area. That's a big mistake to be doing if the enemies are contesting. Nice one. Ow. Fucking hell. He's dead. Jesus. Yeah, 
Nice one. Yeah, we can live. Let's so maybe go for their red buff. Take a little bit longer to catch on my call this game, but it's only because I'm not doing a great job of farming. Hmm. I'd rather not base until I can get this Bloodthirster. Which is awkward, because we now can no longer really farm mid lane. Yeah, most of that wave is going to be dead before I get there. We're going to want to do Baron soon. <laughs> nice, right? <laughs> Would be risky to go for Zeri when I don't see where Nunu is. Got it. <laughs> I've pretty much got Bloodthirster whenever I choose the base. Hello. Wait, fuck. Couldn't see him. Damn it, that sucks. I thought he was going to get trapped by my traps. He must have been past him, I guess. Could I just go first away, my bad? <clears throat> yeah, dude, I'm so like even looking at that, I'm so confused how we ended up where he did. God damn. The fucking lack of vision was really awkward there. Okay, we got Baron. Like one second he was in the auto attack range of me and then suddenly he's gone and then he's ulting me from outside of my range or outside of his range. At no point did he get trapped, even though I placed traps between me and him, and I'm not sure how that happened. No red buff. They can't try and get Nunu, though. Okay. Gonna tank this a little bit. I know that I'll be healing back up soon anyway. Oh, can we actually finish this? Sure can. Nice. Leave the minions for me, second life steal. Oh man. Oh well. Then luck I won't need HP. I should have been using my ultimate for you, we. There we go. Fuck sake! That hook was a seek, like, fucking heat-seeking magnet, man. It tracked me through the gale force. <laughs> Holy shit. That sucks. Yeah, if only I had been able to live still a bit more, that actually would have saved me, I think. Ooh, damn. That blows. Hmm, that would have been our soul if we got that. Also did take one more Tertial than I meant to take. That was on me. It was very important that I maintain proper distance between, Nautil between me and Nautilus though, so he didn't have range to ult me, so I my DPS wouldn't be interrupted there. It's 
now worth using ult to cancel his base. Okay, if I get this cannon, then I've cashed down my call. Nice one. Not worth basing just to sell it though, but it'll be worth selling it next time I base. Oh, what the hell? This isn't a teammate. This is Gragas, the enemy. Fucking hell, this flank. What the fuck? Well, that sucks. We shouldn't be expected to win this. Ooh, but this cane is actually really strong. And maybe for our TP would have won that. Oh, well. Okay, now I can sell this. Uh, I couldn't really have expected a flank that huge. Jesus. Yeah, so Silas won't be winning Yone, that's fine. I think Kane was real kind of kind of out of position in the sense that he should have been around to defend this since that he was collapsing on Yone, which didn't matter. If I'd had you know, uh Kane peeling me, that would have gone a lot better. I'll go get red buff. can go get that blue buff. Perfect timing. out of here. God, I just kill forced man and it instantly cancelled. Holy shit. But we shouldn't have been fighting though. Because we have fear robot. Jesus. And I was on blue buff like it was such a bad time to fight. Or let yourself get engaged on. Like sure, it's kind of impossible to just not let Lulu, let, not let Nunu get to you, but at the very least, be so far away that Nunu is the only person that can hit you, not their entire team. And don't just fight back. Hopefully, Fiora gets this though. I think she's about to die, but okay, she got it. She needs to use ult on him. She needs to try and kill him. I think. Okay, that worked out, I guess. Unless, so oh, okay. She, see, if she, she could have had some healing from killing Gragas as well. She'd be in a much better spot now. I don't think there was any reason not to use ult there. Oh well, Drake up in one minute. Um, we do so. We could also just do Baron soon. I think. We're, we're gonna have two in hips pushing. This should also be a free kill. Hello, no, no. Got him. Got him. I'm gonna pop a ghost and I can ace her. Come on. Holy fuck, she's actually winning these trades. Okay. <laughs> now she goes. What? Alright, I guess we just keep pushing. Yeah, I'd rather focus the turret that's furthest away from Gragas as possible. Oh, what? Right, I guess we just stand. GG. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. This time we're going to be playing Jinx Soraka into Zara Rakan. We're going to shake up the rune purge a little bit this game because my Jinx has decided she no longer cares about being fast. All she cares about is money and hose. So with this rune page, at least we'll have half of that covered. And before you ask, uh, yes, this rune page is viable, but you don't, you don't need to run like the triumph and the, 
treasure hunter together to stack up as much gold as possible. I'm just doing that because I want to. But uh, treasure hunter and I will collection are like independently viable. And then triumph instead of like overheal or presence of mind is also independently viable. And I'm just running both of them together to get as much money as possible. Hello. Want to get these three milius? There we go. At least two of them. I would pop the ghost here to try and punish this. We'll just go on Zaya now though. Oh, I can also has exhaust. Okay. As soon as Raka starts to be able to heal, we'll recover from this better than they can. Nice one. That's a go. Just need to back off. Oh, are you kidding me? Why is he here? Okay. Gotta hope Soraka doesn't die as well. I think she will, though. We'll see. Mm, we'll do double longsword for now. Yeah, she's fucking dead. Please don't go to Zaya at least. Oh, wait, she's the minions. Let's go. That's actually okay. What is this wave state like? I think the wave state is good. Yeah, it's good. Nice one. Not bad. Cannon is already dead. Yeah, this is huge for me. I'll let it be known. The only reason I could even get the double longsword instead of just calling the refillable was because of the Money Man Jinx page. I got 90 extra gold for that kill. An enemy has been slain. I'm scared to hit this cannon. Okay, nice. I was worried that I might just leave it with like 5 HP and then either Soraka would hit it or the minion would randomly hit it. Alright, well our XP, XP lead is going to be huge. Another positive of this page is getting more AD sooner. With eyeball collection versus... Gathering Storm. Obviously it's not much yet, but as we get more kills... Could be... Adding up to more. Okay, I really hope they're not in this brush. Right, perfect. Ooh, Soraka. She should be okay, I guess, though. Okay, Zaya has no more feathers she can place. Oh, okay, now she does. Okay, now we disengage. There we go. Ow, this mini aggro. I thought it wasn't even worth it. Ow, what the fuck? Okay. Damn it. Hit the other minion. Hit it. Nice. Okay, so as far as I know, Odir is bot side and our jungler is top side, so we're just gonna continue playing safe here. Place a ward there, not because I'm worried about Udyr lane ganking, but because it's likely Rakan will try and make plays from that brush at some point. And also because, you know, there's, well, there's technically the chance that we could get lane ganked, but I mean, we've already got protection against that. But basically, I'd rather place the ward now than when Rakan is already in the brush, because then I have no defense. Like, I can't walk up without getting Rakan W'd. I'd rather not use rockets to get lost hits because I don't want to push the wave, but... Can't afford to walk up too close if Rakan is positioned aggressively. Fucking hell, maybe I should have ghosted. Yeah, I'm very dead here. Fuck, my bad. And I just ghosted at the very end. My bad. Okay, we need to run. Uh, get Berserkers here. So they can't just walk up on me and kill me like that. 
But I definitely should not have been... I should have placed traps sooner, for starters. Make it so Rakan couldn't actually dash on me. I'm trying to bring up the full replay, but it's frozen. Yeah, I don't think the app is working when I said. Main mistake was just to not place traps sooner, though. This could be very good, though. Get to switch the minigun. Fuck's sake, they still have exhaust. I might die here. I have no vision now. Yeah, I'm fucking... I'm in a good spot here. Okay. This actually might be decent, though. Things I should have kept going on me. But I've run out of vision again. This is so annoying. We can't get Zai now. Close. Oh, well. She had a big shutdown on her, too. At least we'll force her to miss out on farm. It's sad because if I had a trinket, I probably would have just killed her. But I couldn't afford to face check and take damage from them in the meantime. I can get one plating as well. And I got level 6. If he tries to jump on me... Okay, they just seem to have vision. I can't recall there. I could tell because it wasn't just Rakan that was moving over, it was also Zaya. Oh, he's gonna cut my base here as well. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll just stay a little bit longer. Yeah, the fact that Zaya was moving over means that they were very confident that they knew exactly where I was and they wanted to be in position to punish me. Well, like, literally kill me whenever Rakan landed and engaged on me. Whereas Zaya, like, she wouldn't miss farm just to check if I'm in a brush, right? When Rakan is already doing that for her. Okay, they're both currently mid. Need to shove. Swarker should go for the vision. Go for the vision, because I don't need help shoving this. And I could do with solo XP. Like, the longer she waits to clear that vision, the more chances they'll contest it. Zai only just left mid. Okay. I know I'm safe there. Ooh, fuck. I got a flash. And I'm still dead. Hopefully she is as well. No, she's... Okay, she is. Perfect. Not bad, not bad. Should I have to use flash and I think exhaust? Right? Just to trade one for one. Sadly, she got the kill though, and I didn't, but still. 300 gold to Soraka makes it overall more than worth for us. Um, I guess we'll go Bloodthirst a second again this game, so we can go Longsword. Ooh, this wave state is also really good. She flashed it just to trade one for one and end up with a worse wave state than me. gonna go for the Gromp. Or do we want to do Drake? We can do both. Oh watch, crashed that fast. Fuck, do I want to help here? I'm just gonna throw my ultimate. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Fucking hell. Hmm, up close. She's so fast as well. Damn it. God, she's so fast. Um, wow, she actually just died with that. Damn. Just doing some damage. I definitely can't win them. Beat them. Well, I'm annoyed because I was in the middle of doing Gromp and then I had time to get my form under turret and then suddenly they just started fighting. 
Well, I was not in a position to want to fight. I would have had to give up an entire wave to fight there. And I don't even know if we're going to win the fight. I wasn't even... Didn't even know if I was needed to even win it. They're going to try and dive. How the fuck did Zaya recover all this HP? That's crazy. I need to run. She's got a red buff. She can run me down so easily. Wait, I didn't trolling here. Oh, come on. I'm so dead now. Oh, and I almost got the kill. God, that sucks. That was so unlucky. Oh, well. Wait, holy fuck. How is the Drake not even dead yet? <laughs> nice. Ace. <laughs> Hopefully it should be a Drake for us now. I think Camille should help Silas. Uh, but she won't. Do I go top then? I, gu I guess I have to go top. We're gonna do Gil Force this game, I think. Since they have a mall fight, the AP mall fight especially. Well, I say especially. Like, if it were AD mall fight, then I would probably need to go Kraken Slayer. See, it's always annoying playing against mall fight. It, like, tank mall fight is an ADC, like Jinx. Because you, like, Gil Force would be your only mobility to avoid his ultimate, but at the same time, you're gonna have a really hard time killing him if you don't go Kraken Slayer. It's like a single champion. Demanding you both go Kraken Slayer and also go Gil Force. Whereas if it's AP Malphite, you don't need Kraken Slayer to help kill him. And then it's not such a complicated deal. I need to ward. I don't want to get flanked by Udyr. Presumably the person who placed this. I can't get behind it. There we go. Wow, he really wants to cue me. Nice one. Okay, Soraka went bot. I uh, hopefully don't get one shot here. Minion blocks. I couldn't fucking minigun the minion. He's not even full AP actually though. At least not yet. He's got mana and HP and CDR. I may have regret I've oh, been going this aggressive and yep, especially with Udyr around, that sucks. Yeah, no, I think I would have been fine 1v1. Did Udyr actually avoid all of our vision or am I blind and didn't notice him entering our jungle here? I'll replay it, Shudia's back. In theory, I'm trying to open it and it won't come up. I want to see if I missed Udyr entering our jungle. Oh well. Yeah, if you're gonna lane swap, at least let me have my support, man. Like... You can't lane swap as an ADC to go top and then just be 1v1 against the enemy top laner who's out leveling you. And then be vulnerable against jungle gangs because you've lost your fucking only source of vision, your support. From ultimate there. Might even want to join in. Nah. Oh man. Fucking no. hell. You're so dead. We're, we're, oh no. Fuck, if I'd gone there, I would have been able to do some stuff. I think Udyr's coming for me. Yep. He really wants to get me. Holy fuck, he's so fast as well. I need to flash. Jesus, man. <laughs> That's so annoying. <gasps> oh, I can't follow up here. Literally can't follow up because I don't know where their team is. Like, I know they're like I know they're in the area. That's the, that's the worst part is they didn't even actually follow up. So I could have actually had this assist or they kill a Malphite. But we, I had to assume that they were going to collapse because otherwise why would Malphite have done that?
I'm in trouble. Where am I? Ah, she has exhaust, of course I am. Ah, I would have killed her without exhaust, man. I've been playing alone for too long. Where's my support? I can't just not farm because I don't have any idea where they are. And I'm always unnumbered. Yeah, it is a Polypia mall fight. I don't know what the fuck is up with this build path, though. At least my team is doing well. Oh man, that means that uh, Zara got a huge shutdown off of Salas earlier, though. Because he's got a shutdown now. He must. She must have given or taken a thousand gold shutdown from him, I imagine. Yep, thousand gold shut down. Damn. Whatever. Can't afford to push mid alone there. So we gotta help with the Drake, cause useless as that thing seems since they clearly got it handled. Yeah, I took cutdown expecting them to have one, maybe two tanks. But Malphite turned out to go fully P instead of tank, and that was the guy that I expected to 100% go tank. And Udyr, who could have also gone tank, also chose not to go tank. Oh man. Nice, I uh, down. Malphite is gonna ult here. Got him. Let's get this turret. I got Bloodthirster. <clears throat> if I could get this blue, that would be nice. I should get out of there. Wait, this... This path towards me? What? I didn't know that works that way. Huh. Weird. I am so fucking dead. Thank you for the help, Soraka. No point using Go Force now. I'm, she's right there. I'm right there with my support, man, and they just ignore the fact that she exists and she just doesn't help me in time. It's so annoying because you could use Q to slow him. You could use Z to silence the Rakan. Start healing, like, be ready to heal me. So that she doesn't even touch me before I'm dead. Or touch them. It would cost nothing to just wait until we finish clearing the wave before going to ward. She warded too early. Went to ward too early. 
my lord. There we go. Thankfully, I don't need to... I don't need a team that peels me. I just need a team that carries me. It seems... Um, They can do burn without me. I'm just going to take care of this herald. No point handing them over a free turret. Especially when they have objective bounties. Oh man, they're still going to get it anyway. Damn. I plus. Still, I got free farm. Kill force if I need to dodge him off at all. Wait, he's not going AP. This is so con No, he sold his fucking lost chapter. What? He's trolling this small fight with his build. He wasted so much gold by buying lost chapter and then selling it. That is unreal. Oh yeah, Salas is apparently a Vlad one trick. He was crying in champ select that they banned his Vlad and then asked for somebody to dodge because he can only play Vlad. Now he's 1v9 and with Camille. Who are you trying to base race us? Might actually work out. But hopefully not since we have two Baron buffs. Two Baron buffed lanes, I should say. Well, at least he might get something back, whereas if he was to defend, this would probably work out all the same anyway, right? From ultimate? Ooh, okay. Okay, we're just done now. <laughs> Fuck the end head. Alright, GG. Bit of a boring game for me, with the lack of peel, but it happens. At least it's a win. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond. Last game was maybe not the best debut for the Money Man Jinx rune page, so let's hope we can have a better showing this time around. Gonna be facing Tiaf and Lulu. So we're gonna be running cleanse since both of them have point and click CCs. I was actually gonna... Still only run Ghost, even once I saw TF on their team, after having seen Elise and Lolo as well. But then I realized that they didn't have an ADC, and so that meant that TF had to be their ADC. And if I'm going to be laning against them, then I absolutely do want to run Cleanse. We're gonna soon be hitting level 2. Here we go. Alright, LSR2 pussy for the flash W. Yeah, we could be receiving an early game from Elise. Let's go play some vision. Placing a ward here seems fun. I don't want to place it deeper. Just because I'd miss out on farm. Alright, nice, we only missed one CS there. Perfect. Alright, this is now gonna push back towards us. And with any luck, should even actually just keep on pushing towards us. So we can maintain a freeze and make it risky for them to walk up. As they will be engageable on by Alistar Wars. The closer we are to their turret, 
the harder it is for Alistar to find a good engage. So Alistar just ruined the freeze. <laughs> Thankfully it is still on their side of the map, so... We can still freeze this because their wave is going to arrive sooner, but... Would be a healthier freeze if Alistar wouldn't have killed that minion form 40% HP. <coughs> Play some just behind them, or set the path around. Ah, oh, the cannon walking in front of that. That's sad. Oh well. Gonna use W on TF, and that's gonna be a kill, I hope. At least eventually. Please? You're kidding me! So much you see! Okay. Let's see if I can just path around. There's no other way to escape here. I'm most certainly fucked here, I think. Unless... Not even close. <laughs> ah, you guys actually thought you had me. There was no doubt in my mind that I would survive that. Alright, we get away with uh, 90 extra gold from our run page there. Good, because I only got an assist, so... I would not have the Berserkers if not for that. Berserkers should be good in this matchup. Maybe not so good early on, but later on I'm going to have a lot more range than TF with my Rockets once I have more points in Q. It's going to be super easy to kite them. And for now, while we don't have the range advantage, we are just going to use them for safety. It'll keep us much safer from Elise Ganks. That was annoying how long TF lived after I thought I'd got him killed, though. Just need to crash this. Um, actually, do I have to? Well, I've started a as well commit. Ooh, that makes it a lot easier. Oh, you're kidding me. We're getting ganked again. He has no flash. Jesus. Okay, since we know Elise is still bot side somehow, we'll play some ward. I'll try again. We just want to crash this so that it resets and pushes back towards us. Then Alistar can actually play the lane, because at the moment he can't. But there's no way they can just tank a 6 minion wave if I push this. So there's no way they can freeze it. There we go. That's a lot better. Oh, hello. Gonna go straight for me, but Alistar is more than enough peel. Wow. Didn't even need to use traps, really. I was just worried about the potential one shot. Still, now I'm so low on mana. It's so annoying because now, even if we find an engage, I'm not gonna be able to do much to follow up. CF. Just sitting in the brush, I guess. Ooh, nice try. I gotta say, this is a stupidly defensive matchup between the two point and click CCs. I can't fucking cleanse every fight. Alright, we're gonna base for Cole here and hopefully this freeze doesn't hold. It definitely won't hold in the long run, I just hope that they run it earlier so I miss less farm. But yeah, I'm just too low on mana here. Might as well base. Since Salastar is basing as well anyway. Goodbye, Cannon. How's the rest of the map doing? So Akali has a lead over... Well, mm, no, she doesn't quite have a lead over Talon. Now she has a lead over Talon. Garen has a lead over Riven. <coughs> and Udyr is doing okay. So, sure, our lane is kind of uh, annoying because we're not getting a lead when we absolutely could be. Because of these Elise ganks, but... We're okay. Uh, I need to stop killing minions that are not immediately gonna die, by the way. Like that! Like that! Because we want this push towards us. This caster's fine, because now they have more than a big enough wave to push towards us. If anything, I need to thin it out just a little bit. 
Or I don't need to, but it would be good so they don't over push. Because I, I don't want this wave to push towards here, right? I want it to push towards here. I don't want it to push all the way into the turret where it dies and then resets. We want it here, where the only way for them to farm is for is to be super overextended. And so TF, I think, is going to take this opportunity to go do Drake. Oh, no, okay, who's considering it? But he would have to miss farm for that if he wanted to. Okay, now he's trying to crash this, so we're just going to do the opposite. We're going to push it as well. I think his wave player is also really good. The best thing to do in this situation would be to just force him off the wave, but I can't do that without Alistar. So the best thing I can do is uh, kill as many of the wave as I can, then tank it for a little bit, and we just get to maintain the freeze like this. So at least could be anywhere. I don't actually think we want to engage because this would be the kind of play for them in this kind of scenario. Okay, we actually see at least, at least we can engage then whenever. I'm level 6 now. I've, I've actually got a combat ultimate while TF doesn't. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so this freeze is already broken. I don't know if it's because of Alistar. I wasn't paying attention as to whether it was because of Alistar using his passive or whether it's because the melee's running down on the turret, but the freeze is basically broken already. But we can still benefit from this uh, lane situation because it's a slow push and it's still really far on our side of the map. So again, if TF wants to farm, it's the same shit. Uh, he has to overextend. The only difference between a freeze and a slow push is that with a slow push, there's an end in sight for TF. And also for me, because for me, the slow push means that once the slow push finally crashes into that turret, it's perfect time for me to base because I've got so much gold to spend and such a big window to do it. So we're going to keep slow pushing here as well. We'll slow push probably one more wave. Now as TF arrives here, he spent his gold. I haven't. But I've got a much bigger wave. I'll start pushing now because I do probably just want to crash the next wave. Sorry, I'll start too slow, buddy. I would have missed that if you... If I left it for you. We're just going to ward here. Oop. Probably place the traps front. No, okay, they were perfect. Ooh, okay, I actually missed that, buddy. Didn't notice. Okay. Do I want a base now, then? Probably, yeah. Feels stupid when TF is this low, but... Hmm, actually, we can stay, we can stay. We'll have no reason to load up the pressure now, even if I am sitting on a lot of gold. They're surely not going to be dumb enough to actually die to Alistar combo here, though, right? No, okay, they have vision. Alistar does a flash combo up, though. And I assume Lulu has no ultimate. This is an ADTF, by the way. Okay, I think TF might be basing. I'll start shoving. He might just use ult to get into lane to miss less farm, by the way. That's probably the best use of ultimate for him. I would stick around for the plating, but I don't think it's worth it just to get shared gold. Hmm. Ooh. Well, that wasn't worth cancelling my base for. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Oh. Oh, is he going for Nash's Tooth? Maybe it's hybrid then. I assume that's the new Nash's Tooth build path, because I heard they give CDR back to it. I need the base at this point. Sitting on far too much gold. Even if it means giving up on a single wave. Overall, I mean, we have a CS lead, so... It's not too bad. And Ice and Nidu are making sure they can't even get a plating. It's nice. I don't know if that was the move, using his R to ensure that none of us could get any casters, but... Oh. We want to engage her. At least might be around this. Jeff is dead here, though. I'll go for it. Oh, what the hell? This is unexpected. 
Let him in close. Holy fuck. Was Tip? No, he was. He was. He just jumped the wall recently, I guess. He wasn't on Drake because Drake isn't up. Certainly looked like he was coming from the fucking Drake as, as if he'd been doing it. Oh, no, Alistar! What the fuck was that, bro? He just denied me a cannon. Oh, my lord. Oh, well. By the way, if Talon ignited me, I would have uh, cleansed that. I was on the lookout for his ignite the whole time. I might have died just to one ignite tick anyway. Which I can't, I can only, I can't cleanse the first tick, I can only cleanse the following four. Wait, holy fuck, I'm back to full HP. How did that happen? But yeah, if it took more than one ignite tick to kill me, I would have just been fine anyway. <coughs> They're not gonna kill him, I'm just gonna leave him. God, they better not have vision here. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna be fine. I won't even bother cancelling my base. And what do we, uh, I guess he died. <laughs> and I guess we'll go for Gil Force. Hmm. I was so sure he'd live, but either way, I think if I cancelled my base, I'd just die with him. I'm throwing my ultimate. Yeah. Well, it might hit him and do some damage at least, but it probably won't kill. Oh no. Oh boy. <sighs> Damn. That sucks. If I land a W on him, then I can go for us for the execute. Yeah, I would fucking love to, but I know there's an Elise there, man. He's gonna be dead here. Yeah. All good, come on. There we go, had cleanse in case he did gold card me. Perfect. Really? Okay, I won't bother trapping then. Just trap there. Stop the Elise. <laughs> I don't want to use W and Lulu because these spiderlings will block it. Ow. God damn it, I didn't even mean to hit her there. Okay, next item going to be Bloodthirster again. I'm getting bored of building Guild Force Bloodthirster every fucking game, man, but it is what it is. Solo key comps are just so fucking absurdly damage and mobility focused. Anyway, currently sitting on 310 extra gold collected with our Money Man Jinx page. Had PTSD there from when he fucking W'd the cannon away from me. Jesus Christ, the man. <laughs> I got kill for us. Oop. Okay, he's deaf. He's fucking dead. <laughs> nice one. I did not need to kill for us, actually. I don't know why I did that. That was fine, no matter what. Alistar. Oh, God. Nobody's going to peel me now. Or are they? Okay. Gonna try and ult Lulu in case it 
does go past the list, but it doesn't. Oh no! <laughs> That, all, that was almost looking bad for me, though. When it seemed like nobody was gonna defend me from Talon. Oh, Okay, he is going in. Fuck, I'm so dead. Damn it! Oh, man. I got too close to him. I shouldn't have done that. I forgot he had ult up still, despite... <laughs> like, he just did not do anything in the previous fight. That's why he had everything up still. But uh, because we just fought, I didn't expect for him to have everything up. That was a mistake for me. Or a mistake. Nice one. Um, I mainly just want to throw some blocking traps, but that's all. Get him. Oh no. Oh come on, I could have Gale Force for the kill. Oh well. Still only sitting on three treasure hunter stacks. This is an easy kill though. Ooh, she wasn't slowed enough. My bad. That's fine. Still got her without even guild forcing. I wasn't meant to run, uh, cut down this game, by the way. Forgot to change my page. Wait, fucking hell. I'm so fucked here. Uh, my bad, I didn't expect such a random engage. Their like, they didn't even see me, they just, their team was just immediately running. Like, all just full running it towards mid. My bad. <clears throat> Thought I had time to clear a wave. I wish this up wasn't so slow, I'm about to revive. Now I have to move. I'm halfway to lane, bro. Yeah, it's too late now. They're not doing Baron, are they? They are. I might steal it. I might at least kill Elise. Ooh. Come on, die! You're fucking shitting me, man. What? Seriously? She couldn't just die there? Oh, whatever. What is going on here? Alright, let's get the Drake. Camping for Elise is good there. Come on. Okay. I got the Drake. I'd like to get blue if possible. Nice. Where do we go now? I guess top. Would have been nice to get red buff. I 
I am so fucked here, actually. I'm ghosting, I'm ghosting, I'm ghosting. But I'm mini block the hell I'm back, bro. Jesus. I had to run into the middle of their team to escape Talon there. That was uh, an awkward angle. I think I just need to keep running. Maybe my ultimate can kill Lulu here. Ah, uh, she just randomly mo Okay, she stepped aside, but I randomly killed Riven, who I wasn't even aiming for. Hmm. This is awkward. What? Like, usually the point of inhib is this inhib is to get, like, Baron off there, but they were the ones that got Baron. Oh. Wow, that's ridiculous. She still reaches him. Uh, shit. Wait. Oh, but now I'm clicking minions. I'm so fucking sad. That fucking blows. Thought I was walking away, but I was attacking minions. My bad. Why follow a tilt move? Well, obviously I didn't think she was tilted. They seriously should not be fighting there though, that is for sure a tilt move. Okay, nice, but still get out of there though, I would say. Eh, I don't know, Talon is actually out of mana. Tia Pinting? What the fuck? Okay, just go in, just go in this one. From ultimate there. Ah, damn it. That was so close. Inhib respawning. We should be able to get to inhibs though, which is much better than this. Just a clear path to getting top lane inhib as well. Or we just end. We'll see. Probably not though. It just depends. If Talon runs it down, for example, then we might have a chance. Uh, not quite running it down. He took two people down with him. That was a really bad trade. We got the- Oh, we didn't get this in here. What the hell? Somebody should have been getting that already. What the fuck? We might die for getting it, but I think we have to. Well, that just sucks. That- I- That should have been twin hips. Somebody who was pushing top just walked past the end hip. And didn't take it. Oh, okay. Oh, they see us. Then I probably want to run. I'm so fucked. Nah, I need to run. I'll just play some traps. And get up. They still nearly got blood this or uh, sorry, infinite edge. Garen is going for blood farm, I'll just go for one camp or another. Wolves or raptors will give me infinite edge. Nice one. Let's see if I can protect them. Oh, never mind, he's just way too fast. What the fuck? Yeah, okay, this Garen is actually 1v9. And I thought he was tilt moving. We could go for Drake, but we could also just rush the Baron on spawn, which I think is the better move. Plus, I also have a chance of maybe just dealing this Drake with my ultimate. Ooh. He almost killed her. I said we just do Baron. Do Baron. I could also ult... Yeah, fuck it. We could actually just contest this and maybe try and ace them, I guess. Okay, all of his burst on... Ooh, dear. I'm not sure that was the right move. Literally a tank coup here. <clears throat> now we can get burned too. It's 
play it nice and clinical. No need to take any stupid risks like trying to fight them for the inhib when we can just take the burn without fighting. Wait, I can kill this Lulu. Watch this shit, watch this shit. Ah, so close, man. I deserved that kill. <laughs> Fuck. Man, that would have been so sick. It occurred to me too late. Because ideally wouldn't wouldn't like to catch her here, I'd like to catch her here. But I didn't have time for that. Once I noticed that. Hmm. Okay. I could base for zeal. But I have a feeling if I do, my team will fight without me and lose. And this game will be dragged out for another five minutes. Okay, we should... Uh, wait, we don't have any waves. What are we doing? I guess... We'll just burn up this wave. While somebody pushes the ball in and hit without a mini wave. There we go. Okay, that's one. Should also just... Probably burn up the wave. Careful, careful. Ah, uh, they're gonna fight. I think. That's <laughs> so messy, whatever. I'll just join. It's the least risk least, least risky move here. That was a waste of traps, nobody was near me. Okay, Riven. So much for being a waste of traps, I literally got me a kill. That was a complete miss from me, my bad. Fuck. Okay, we just stand here. <laughs> Messy ass game, but whatever. Alright, GG. Yo, what up gamers, we are back for another game of Jinx the Diamond, where it seems we are already in Diamond MMR. The previous game at least was Diamond 3 MMR. I haven't really been paying attention to the MMR, but I guess we're getting pretty high. So this time I'm going to be playing Jinx and Milio, which is a uh, pairing I'm liking quite a lot. Into Vayne and Yumi, which I think is also a pretty good duo. Fucking E start Yumi. <laughs> we haven't done any damage to Vayne yet. Okay, here we go. We have to level too early. Uh, we may actually just want to slow push, crash the third wave, and then base for Cole, maybe. Just because of the fact that at the moment we're losing out on HP to Vayne, so our reset could be good. Uh, I might die here, we'll see. Oh, I need the ghost. Fucking hell. I think I'm dead here. Yep, yeah, holy fuck. Yep, that uh, is rough. Hopefully at least Melee lives, but I think he's dead as well. Get a flashed. <laughs> Alright, can't even do a call then. We're gonna have to go for this. Oh man, it was so close though. Well, that's rough. It's not every day you get all in by a level 2 Vayne and killed while she has a hyperscaling support. And you have the bigger wave. Oh well. What was this damage? It's not so much that she did a ton of damage, it's more the fact that we did zero damage and this Yumi just made her unkillable. I mean, <laughs> Yumi is absolutely ridiculous even after the nerf. Like, the level one was just insane. The fact that she just literally made it so Vayne didn't take any damage at all. Um, I'd like to kill these melees if anything. 
just want to keep this frozen so at least Vayne will miss some farm for this base. If there's one weakness Vayne has in lane, it's just poor wave management. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, this freeze probably won't last for long because this melee can just run it down whenever, but... Should be decent. Yeah, especially because actually most of the freeze now is just on the casters. That's alright. Alright, we'll keep on freezing even now that Vayne is in lane. We see Sidrani coming boss side. We'd like her to just, yep, yeah, gank immediately. Skip the Gromp, skip any camps. Skip the Skittle Crab, just come straight bot. Vayne has no summoners. They haven't even warded yet, I don't believe. No, they haven't. Which is very greedy. There's no reason not to have warded. Ooh, what the fuck was that? A script? Or just very lucky timing. You know what? I think she might be scripting. What the fuck? The Sidrani W dodge was whatever, but the dodge of my W was also super clean. And then the only way she could have dodged the E was also by queuing, and she just immediately queued. Like, what? We gotta, we gotta keep an eye out for that. Okay, here we go. Sidrani, you need to go in, man. What the fuck? She dodged the Sidrani Q? Let's see. Okay, at least she fucking dies. We got a triumph, we get the... Other thing. Jesus Christ, I think she must be scripting. Let me check if she's a throwaway account. Which would be like fresh level 30. Account that they don't mind getting banned. <clears throat> oh yeah, you can just tell by the name that it's botted, I guess. Although it is level 113. Why start botting now? But yeah, her KD, like for an account that's been ranked since season 9, she does feel like she's smurfing really hard in recent games considering her score lines, which... Could just mean that somebody who owned, already, owned, already owned the account just randomly decided, Hey, let's script, I don't care about this account. <clears throat> Me too, TBH. Yep, exactly. I think Sidrani noticed probably exactly when uh, uh, she randomly dodged the Sidrani Q. Sidrani Q is not meant to be dodgeable unless you predict it, but that, that was a like, completely frame perfect dodge. I might just be dead now. Uh, actually, I can pop Ghost, see if it helps. But these slows, man. I can't move. Yeah, I'm dead. That's just rough, man. Nothing we could do about that. Only 1.6 seconds of duration of CCSS, but that was just such luck. Like, I, I was ghosting, but I was slower than absolutely anybody else for the entire duration. <clears throat> Anyway, my bad for not warding there, though, in the river. I was greeting for all this XP, which wasn't really all that important. I should have ghosted a lot sooner as well. Could have also probably dodged the Yumi Q. Can't replay that, though, but I'm assuming... Like, Yumi Q is a lot easier to dodge now than it used to be. That's also why it slows harder than it used to. It's a lot more on you if you get hit by it now. I think they're basing. Nope. Fuck my Emilio, god damn it. Like, as Jinx, I don't need help with the wave clear on the casters, man. Not unless they're like full HP. We gotta back off. 
Hmm, she actually got hit by that. Okay, we can cancel the space. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't even want to clear it, she just wants to the base. We still want to cancel it. Ow. Look, the, the script literally won't let her walk into the traps even though she's trying to walk backwards. <laughs> That's funny. That's why she was so still, because she was like, she was fine with walking into the traps, but the script was like, you can't walk there, there's traps there. <gasps> Funny interaction. Alright, we can do Gromp. We're getting fucking shit stomped, so... Might as well just wait for that wave to go in. And if, they, if they're actually basing, then we can just base as well after the Gromp. But they're not basing, so... Well, we can't walk up because it's too risky. We just do the Gromp instead. Start cutting it out now. Dude, he almost stole that. <laughs> Alright, we missed one melee for this. And the Gromp was like, what? 80 gold, 90 gold, 100 gold? I don't know, but it's a lot. Compared to the melee that I missed. Which I would have been zoned from anyway. Okay, this time it's fairly on our side of the map, as opposed to the completely neutral position wave that we had earlier. Main passive is now up his fuck, yep, I noticed. I actually, no the first time I played against the Vayne, or with the Vayne, I can't remember, after the change, I, m I immediately saw just how much more powerful it was, I was like, what the fuck, you actually noticed the movement speed now. I also really feel the increased Q poke. Script just does not let her walk into the trap. <laughs> it's funny. I'm gonna base if they don't start showing. Okay, on the bright side, Zoe's doing really well. On the Weak side, though, um, there's nothing Zoe can do against the Scripter. <laughs> She's like playing one of the worst fucking champions to be playing against the Scripter. Like, assassins into Scripters are good, not if you're, not if, well, not if you're assassin slash burst mage, whatever, is actually just entirely skill shot reliant. Ah, fuck, wait. Ow! Okay, I need to get out of here. <clears throat> I need to stick around because she's definitely gonna dive melee, I think. The scripter plays, always plays super aggressively. Thing is, she's not doing it, so maybe she won't. At this point, it's on Milio if he dies. It's just weird that they, they... Like, I've never seen somebody decide to script on a level 113 account. Like, it's clearly botted because of the name, right? You can tell that much. But why why level 113 levels before you decide you start scripting? Like, how much do you smurf on one account while it's still a throwaway account? If I got to level 113 on one of my smurfs, that would be my fucking main account by then. Maybe they just purchased it from somebody who purchased it when it was a botted account. Who knows? Oh, I'm probably dead here. <laughs> it doesn't even matter to her if she steps on those traps. Holy fuck. Nice. Alright, she has no flash, right? Yeah. My bad for being so overextended. What 
for my ultimate, see if it manages to steal. Ooh, nice try. If I timed it perfect, it would have. Interesting choice of cleanse there. How is she not dodging these, though? Look at this fucking you and me. Dude, do you see that? You, the script almost fucking took her out of the E. It tried to at least. Oh my god, she better. Thank god, thank god. I don't think. To be fair, I think she's using like some form of like script setting that's trying to make it not too obvious. Because these are not like f completely frame perfect. That's just, just, just not a human still. But she's getting hit by some stuff. Like clearly she, clearly she keeps failing to dodge Zoe E's and the W just barely hit her as well. I can't believe the rest of my team all just abandoned the vein, assuming she was dead, though. If my W hadn't killed her, I'm not sure if we would have killed her. They're, at the very least... What the fuck? At the very least, it would have been a super long chase. Emilio has ult, actually. Does he? Why isn't he ulting if he does? Surely... Well, surely he must not have ult then, right? It's an instant heal, isn't it? Can't tell if he just has balls of steel or what. That was an unexpected chase. <laughs> Gank though, I assume he TP'd into that brush. They got like three different wards in there, don't they? So makes sense. You know, he had the opportunity. Rolled there. Ah, it's just me, I can't follow up on that. Now just says no escape. See if I can get Lilia now, maybe. I don't think I can, though. Fuck. Oh, I can. She actually tried to 1v1 me. Cool. That's actually pretty big. I got another treasure hunter stack off of that. I just got two. I guess, yeah, I haven't killed Yumi yet. We'll go for one more wave, I think. Then Vayne and Yumi might go for me, but I should have time to at least clear that in base. I hope. Could be wrong because it's a cannon wave. Okay, they're just topside anyway. Did he get it? Oh, nice one, Milio. Um, I think I will go crack inside this game, but we'll still go bloodthirster. Just doing crack and slayer because. Sometimes it always can get really tanky, especially with this build. Plus Lily's gonna get a little bit tanky, plus Chase has a melee for him. Plus Gale Force won't do too much to save me against uh, against Vayne's movement speed. Which is really the only thing I could probably want to use Gale Force against. Head over to the top lane. Wow, how did that run out? Should have been near the turret in time. Just run into the turret, buddy. I got you covered. Oh my lord. The golems all in here. What are they doing? On mid lane. Well, they seem to live, so. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Emilio. <laughs> oh, right, it's just the Zoe are making it look like she was in the range of them. Oh, they need to get the fuck out. She's dead, she's dead. What the fuck? <clears throat> I 
<laughs> the ultimate really made her think twice about whether she really wanted to dive me there. I guess a free turret while this is going on. We have to try and kill a lobby. We're not going to be able to contest Drake if they're already on it. Hmm. So we must have been seen there. Zoe can probably still catch out a lobby though. Ooh, how did it not hit her? Wait, oh, they're doing Herald. What the fuck? Finish her because the invisibility that was so unlucky. Okay, I'm alive again. I was so fucking close, bro. And meanwhile, Jace. It's so annoying because, like, fucking Bane is like a. a force that requires our entire team to take care of her, whereas. There's obviously more to the enemy team than just Bane. But if we don't fucking deal with her, then she's gonna fucking kill us all, and meanwhile, while we're all dealing with her, then Jace just takes advantage of the fact that he's got a script there. We go pressure the other side of the map. Are we doing Baron? Oh my god, we are, and we're actually getting it. Holy shit. Right? Right? <laughs> Lilia. <laughs> I gotta make sure Jace isn't flanking me. Fuck, he could also be here. Okay, nice. So far, so good. Okay, we see Jace. I'm fine. Okay, try dodging the Akshan E, bitch. Nice one. Exactly what we need. A fed Akshan. I wonder if Vayne is doing with Yumi as well, because it seems. Yeah, yeah, they are doing. Because it seems so insanely convenient that the scripter would have a support that makes her unkillable. Or almost unkillable to single target damage as well. Uh, sorry, not single target, uh, point and click damage. This is exactly what you want as a scripter, is like making sure you can't die to any burst. Even the burst that you can't avoid, that your scripts can't outplay. It allows you to play as stupid as you want, and there's just no counterplay if they can't burst you. But obviously you can burst them still. It's just that the champion like Yumi gives you the most chances of being able to survive through any burst. Um... Actually, I think I might just need to go Infinity Edge here. Because this lava is pretty tanky, Lilia is getting pretty tanky. Even Bane, as we've just mentioned, is going to be pretty tanky. Because of Yumi, and because of the Shield Bow. And because of the Wit's End against the comp of mine that does a lot of magic damage. What is she doing? Oh. Well, we need like the entire team to deal with this because look, now she's just gonna kill Milio. I got like one auto off, I think. Maybe not even that. It's so ridiculous. Alright, I'm alive again. One fucking auto before I'm dead, bro. Like what? Everything is- everything- like, I think I had one auto cancelled by the E, and one auto cancelled- or one or two autos cancelled by stealth. Like, what the fuck, man? Should take this, I think. Nice one. But you see also how they play? Like, you can tell they're a scripter as well, not only because they're so, like, mechanically- impossibly clean, but because they play like they give zero fucking fucks at all whatsoever. They're like, yep, let me just 2v5. Nobody has that confidence except scripters. Sometimes I can tell that somebody's probably scripting, not because I, I've seen them make an insane dodge yet, but because I'm like, that's weird. They're playing like a scripter would. They're playing with the confidence that only a scripter would have. Trying 
Like sometimes, sometimes, like say it's most obvious, especially when you have a hook support like Thresh, for example, right? Because they just stand in the face of Thresh, like walk up and trade against them. And even if Thresh, like even if Thresh sometimes misses the hook and you don't even see, like they don't have to use any insane dodges to actually avoid getting hooked. You can just tell like, why were they so confident to take that fight anyway? Like, why is she fucking 2v3ing? I can't identify anything she's dodged here, but I can identify that no fucking human plays like that. Who the fuck would do that unless they're trolling? But she's 9 and 6, she's not trolling. Right? You see what makes this obvious? Only script does play this way. If they play like they can't get hit by any skill shots, and they don't get hit by any skill shots, even if it doesn't take any insane dodges, you gotta wonder what's up with that. Why are they so confident that they are not gonna get hit? <sighs> oh, so close, bro. Okay, nice. Nice one. Careful. Invisibility, man. <laughs> Cancelled my autos like twice again. Yeah, we want to try and push as hard as we can here. But if this if this vein was actually exercising proper macro and not just trolling. We, this game would be a loss 100%. It's only because this Vayne like, gets away with playing like this most games because of the scripts that she's playing this bad. And we're actually, potentially, hopefully, gonna win off of it. Imagine if her fighting was actually 5v5 and not fucking 2v5. She only ever fights 2v5. Yep, we just won. Perfect. Thank god. I hate scripters, man. GG.